Oh, oh these locks can I do this with one hand? Yes, I can. All right, so second location of the day, and the sun has come out. It's absolutely gorgeous, and we've come to uh, Burton Bradstock because uh, it's a nice place that I like to go to. It's incredibly dangerous, but you can find some good ammonites. Ooh, the sun's behind me, that's not good, I'll have to walk backwards. So yeah, so we're gonna uh, see if we can find some good stuff, who knows? Oop. So yeah, we're just uh, heading towards the beach. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Hmm. Right, fresh water bay side. So have a look at the uh, Hellenian and Bajotian exposures of Burton Bradstock. So this is where we find everything from Hellenian Leoceros uh, up to, uh, in fact, you can get Bathonian ammonites here as well, Zag Zigzagisaurus, I think it is. But uh, yeah, get around the corner. There's apparently a new fall, and we need to get there and have a little bit of a look, see what we can find. Who knows? Could be good stuff there. New falls are always good. Ah, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely lovely day. So, let's go find this new fall, if there has been one. Ah, what a delightful scene. There's certainly been a few people on the beach. So, I wonder if they've been back and forwards with the good ammonites. So yeah, most of this stuff you can see uh, is the uh, Bridport Sands. It's uh, Tuarshan in age. It's only when we get near the top of the cliff do we get the Alenian and then the uh, Ocean exposures, uh, but yeah, it's all phosphoriferous. But the, uh, the sandstone it does wear pretty quickly, and the preservation's not always as good. It's the hard ooh light we really want. Let's go see what we can find. It's still quite a rough sea as well, so now we're too low tide. Find some on the ledges, who knows, as well. But yeah, hopefully, some good stuff. Yeah, definitely be uh, treated with caution these cliffs extremely dangerous when they do collapse they collapse pretty catastrophically and uh, yeah you don't want to be anywhere near when they do because there ain't no escape Ooh, get wet feet no I'm not that'd be lovely Ooh, that's a big one run away <laughs> Yeah, it's quite a wild sea today, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Oh, I hate walking on this stuff. It is hard work. Some lovely lime bay agates, though, on this bit of beach. Lovely rounded uh, pebbles. Very, very nice. Ah. Alright, so that's the old slip, that's the new slip, it's already been uh, properly raided, there's not much to, to be seen, so a little bit late for that one, so while it's low tide, we can have a look along this ledge, see if we can find any nice uh, ammonites that have uh, got washed out, quite often find nautiluses and stuff around here, so we'll see what we can find in this ledge stuff, always something to find normally. So uh, yeah, definitely this bit is a, I always like this bit, it's normally a bit of a hot spot. Loads of bits of oolitic material, it's a, it's a bit, uh, it's a little bit too uh, shingly at the moment. I was hoping the shingle would start clearing off in winter, but yeah, it hasn't, so <laughs> let's see what we can find. Ooh, look at that, there's something in there, look. What could that be? That's a big ammonite, isn't it? What kind of ammonite? It could be a lyotoceros. 
it's reducing down to see if it's all there. I've got a feeling it probably won't be. There's a very big parallel um, Lytosaurus just back further back, so it might have a go that way. There we go, little Parkinsonia look. Might not be bad from the other side. Quite water worn though. Yeah, a little parky out there. Let's uh See if we can free this one up from its little tomb. See if we can see a bit more of it. See, these are normally not very well preserved, so I'm not expecting it to actually amount to anything. Just looked out a bit of calcite on it, which is encouraging. Very, very heavy. there which is annoying. Uh, I have got a cap there though <laughs> so that might have to be a, a little bit of a, a repair job. Time to low tide actually, so a bit more of this ledge should come out. The Leosterus there. One. And have other things in though, the Leosterus blocks, so yeah, just be aware there might be other stuff in there. Probably only Leosterus because they seem to be the most dominant fauna, but. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a lovely whatever it is. I don't know what it is. That's nice. Oh, what is that? Oh, I'll have to extract that. Ah, so I'll just uh, poke this out of this lump here. Just saw the calcite looked like a keel, and that's a nautilus. So I don't know how good it'll be. Some calcite there, definitely. So that's a good sign. So hopefully it'll actually polish up um, when you get all the sand off it. Hard to tell, but yeah, it's a heavy little lump, so definitely another another one for the bag. Ah, a couple more finds, so look at that. I'm not sure what that is. Could be just a Leosaurus, but all the shell on. That is absolutely gorgeous preservation, so that's definitely for the bag. And something else, I don't know what that is either. So again, could be uh, some sort of Ludwigi type thing. So yeah, not sure, not sure, but that should be, uh, again, something different and in the bag. Yeah, getting heavier. Oh, okay. I uh, not to face the sun. Ah, we're all done at Burton Bradstock. Sun's in my eyes now. Go this way. All done. Heavy bags. 
Uh, got a few little bits and pieces, so the fall wasn't very good. It's been uh, well and truly emptied, but we found a few little small bits in among. Uh, yeah, so not bad. We'll uh, probably uh, do a roundup uh, a bit later on. Uh, but yeah, that's it done for today. First day out. Uh, gonna have another day out tomorrow and have a go probably at Charmouth. So yeah, good fun so far. Some good ammonites. And uh, yeah, enjoying Charmouth. At least it's better weather down here. Lovely sunshine. Lovely. So yeah, see you soon. I think that's probably a Leoceros type. There's a couple in there which uh, that should be quite nice. Quite a nice sized one, and it's got the shell on as well, partially. So yeah, I think that's a Leoceros. I love these where you can see the uh, the suture marks as well. So yeah, that could be quite nice. That so I think that's a Leoceros. Uh, this one, um, it's a bit more ribby. So I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure if this is still a Leoceros or whether it's uh, a Ludwigia type. So Leoceros did um, evolve into um, the other forms of Playdelia. So there's uh, Graphoceros, uh, Playdelia, Ludwigia, um, yeah, uh, all very, very uh, similar species, all evolved in the Alenian. So that should be a nice piece, that actually, with all the shell on. Look forward to seeing that prepped. Did pick up a little Steph, Stephanoceros, that should be a quick clean up. Another Alenian type one, a bit more ribby again, don't know what that'll be, we'll see. This lovely Lytoceros, unfortunately it has ripped a little bit so we'll need to get that taken off that negative and put back on that should be nice and then a couple of a couple of Parkinsonias so yeah nice little nice little dumpy one and yeah that's quite nice as well hopefully all the middles there we'll see who knows and uh, colleague Ricardo yeah not a bad day for him as well some lovely that looks like a rare Acostata um, one does that one. A lovely Nautilus. Hopefully that's there. In fact, it's already uh, separating, so that should hopefully be nice. Let's just hope it curls back round in. I think it does actually. Yeah, that'd be nice. Another little Nautilus. Nice little uh, Parkinsonia type there. Don't know what that is. And uh, gastropod there as well. There's all sorts in this block actually, isn't there? Ooh, light stuff is amazing. It really is. Amazing stuff. Was that a gastropod as well? Oh, that's a Cadamites or something else, wasn't it? Yeah. A little chunky fat one. I think it's a Cadamites, but it might be something different. A bit of a scrappy parky, is that in it? But it might be there. Gastropod. Oh, yeah, look at that gastropod. Pyrotrochus. Pyro. Something like that, I think it is. Lovely. We just come to Burton Bradstock to have a little uh, bit of a look at low tide. So, low tide, low tide, and have a look at the ledges, see if we can find some interesting stuff from the uh, Elenian again, because uh, a couple of really nice bits. Don't know if it's Play de Lily, Play Delia, Play de Lily, ah, God knows, or uh, Graphoceros, some sort of Graphoceratid anyway. So, yeah, uh, need to identify that at some point. So, yeah, not, not getting any of my collection, so. So you can get some more, some different ones, because there's all sorts in these rocks. Oh, trudging along the beach. I need to get some lovely pebbles of, uh, I think it's Lime Bay Agate, I'm not sure. Uh, along here. Do -do -do. Stompy stomp, get through the sand. Oh. So, not as uh, good a low tide as the other day, so yeah, things are. It's covered up pretty quickly, so just having a quick wander down here just in case you can see any uh, decent bits of ammonite sticking out. But yeah, there's not much of the beach left to be fair. Yeah, it's uh, only just gone low tide and it's already flooding this bit. There's some big waves coming in, so yeah, a bit of swell still. So I wander down here, you never know. Again, all we're looking for is a decent keel or something, and then uh, we can. Uh, Oik it out. Uh, if not, we'll have a look in uh, the base of the slips and see if we can find out there. But uh, there's quite a few people here today, so I imagine it's been uh, quite well raided. And it is, uh, to be fair, the afternoon now, so let's see what we can find. I just found a parky. 
it's in there. Ah. Oh, just have to get it out. Well, fat Matt's found this nice parky in there. Uh, he's trying to extract it. It's been a tough one though because it's quite buried into that rock. So there's actually another one there as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. But uh, whether it'll come out or not in time. Yeah. Uh, let's hope it'll pop out. I think it. I think it will. I've gone all the way around here. Yeah. It's just just uh, that back edge, isn't it? Really. Back edge, yeah. Well, that, yeah. That, should, that should pop. I reckon. I need to go a bit more under this bit. Yeah. I think. Have there. Normally, just suddenly pops. Normally. Uh, it moved. It did it? move. Yeah. It's getting there. It's on its way. S wing's gone as well. S wing hammers are rubbish. S wing, you should be ashamed. Handles crap. Well, I haven't had that with mine yet, but. Well, this is the second S-Wing, I broke one, so... Oh. Yeah. yeah, lifetime guarantee, you're rubbish. So, yeah. Give me a small break. <laughs> oh, it's definitely getting there. I still think you need to hit over on that right hand side underneath that way, down in that one. Half board is there, I think. Not yeah. There. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to bring the rear out, I think. Be a bit more daring, do. Yeah, I think that's going to pop it. I think it's this bit here that's holding it. Yeah. So if we get in here yeah. and there, downwards, it's going to pop out. Not going to be long. Yeah, there he goes. It's moving. Yeah, whole thing shake. It's nearly there. No, not quite. A few, I reckon. Two more going. taps. It is going. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. It's out. I'll cut a tap from the top now. Go from the top. Give it a tap as well. Yeah. Feels good. Oh, that's a good one, is this? Yeah, it looks ready like... for the big reveal? Yeah. Is it good? Is it good? Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. It's not that's bad. That's going to be nice. Bit missing there. That's fine. Filler it. It's a stone one, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have I got time for that one though? That's the question. Ah, oh, it's a bit gnarly, but pop that centre should be nice. Needs a little bit of filling, but yeah, mouth border go around. So yeah, it's a little bit gnarly is this one, but it, it should be all right. It should be nice. Ah, oh, a few little others. Nice little. Uh, Maybe one there, little lapelia should all be there, another one in there, a uh, little tiny in there, I'll probably put that in the bag as well, so yeah, not a bad little day, a couple of uh, the ostrich as well in the bag, but time to go home now, Oof. Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out the rest of the content on the channel, there's loads of fossil hunting adventures on there, uh, from the Yorkshire coast, from Dorset and uh, elsewhere, so uh, yeah, and if you enjoyed the videos, please press that subscribe button. It's just there at the bottom right hand side. See you soon.